All right, so last night we made a really, really epic decision. We decided that we're going to start putting out vlogs every single day for the next 30 days. We're gonna vlog every day and put it out every single day for the whole month of September. Today is day one, let's get it. God, why is this dog turd just like right where I'm doing the vlog? That's not right, man. This is the reason I don't like dogs because they just shit everywhere. It ain't right, man. Even if you pick it up, there's still like dog shit residue on the street that we walk all over. It's nasty. I don't know why society accepts this. How do we get rid of that dog turd? Now we gotta wait for it to rain? Like how, how I'm not picking that up. I'm not picking that up. We'll get a close-up shot so we can put it in the vlog. Right in front of our studio. Not right, man. This, this ain't right. I bet you if I walked a little bit, I could show you more dog turds. Here, this looks like somebody stepped in shit. I bet you there's another turd right there. I see it. There it is. This ain't right, man. If dogs are allowed to shit in the streets, so should humans. <laughs> Vote for me for president. Carpet time is here today. You know why? Because today we're installing a red carpet in our studio, in our office. I'm super excited about this. When we were deciding what color carpet to put in there, I couldn't think of any other color but the color red. I felt like red was the perfect color for us to put into the floor of our office. Ooh, looks cool. What do you think? Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Ooh, I love it. Feels good too. Let's see. I, we just got soundproofing done too now. Ooh, it's nice and I can lay down. I want to take a little rest. Oh my god. All right, stay there. I'm going to take a photo. Okay. <laughs> Man, these guys did such an incredible job. Did y'all see how dope that red carpet looks in our office? It's all because of these guys. Thank Killed you. it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Boom. Boom. Let's get it. Right. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Welcome to the first unboxing of the vlog, of the daily vlog. What's in here? I'm just gonna un unbox everything we get every day. Oh, we got batteries for the FPV drone. That's one. So today we're gonna fly the FPV drone, I guess. Headphones, oh shit, who did I, who? Oh, this is Ronnie's. It's not even mine, oops. Ronnie, today is day one of 30 days of vlogging and you're late? Today is day one. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Don't apologize to me, apologize to everyone watching this. I'll make it work, you know that. Day one. We're already behind schedule. Come up here and check this shit out. Ooh, that's so clean. Right? That looks dope. That's nice. Now we're gonna do shoes off. Shoes off in the office. All right. So the red carpet is in. Now we gotta put all of our stuff in here. But first, is this good light? I have something to share with y'all. Guys, something tragic happened this morning. Someone broke into our building and stole our scooters. We woke up and there's cops in the lobby. Kumei's like, what the fuck's going on? And there's somebody who like broke our window. Not this building, not the, not the office building, our apartment building. Oh my God. Yeah, it's fucked up. Better than a red carpet? The fact that our Ethereum is pumping today. Okay, yeah, this is the vibe. I think this is it. Whoa! 
What's up, dog? <laughs> Saul is here. He's gonna interview me because he's a professional YouTuber. We have a real YouTuber in our presence. Real. Uh, like Tell him the sub count. <laughs> Tell him the sub count. 933. 933. <laughs> Almost a thousand. Linked in the you description below. Make, make sure to sub. Uh, Atif is gonna link it below. Last time he was here, he brought me this. This, you this, this looks this. cool from this angle. All right, we're gonna do some baby shots. This is a gross I'll just tap here. One, two, three. Hey everyone, welcome back to Atif's YouTube channel. We're here today. We're gonna have a very special conversation about the hard hitting questions, what it's like to be a filmmaker. So without further ado, let's welcome your host, except I'm the host, Atif. Thank you for that beautiful intro. Clap. I hope y'all so are much. clapping at home. Thanks so much for being here. You you know, I, know, I know you have Thank a busy you schedule, being, huh? you know, you're, you're a busy guy, you have a lot to do between running a studio, having a happy marriage, having a few employees in the building, you know, it's, it's kind of a lot to do, so we really, really appreciate your time today. No doubt. I'm here for my own vlog, but <laughs> no doubt. First things first, yeah. I don't like classifying, classifying myself as a filmmaker, because we don't make films, we create content. I like to draw a really hard line between filmmakers and content creators so that people understand that th those are two different things. What was the differentiating point for you where you're just like, I'm not trying to make a film, I'm just trying to like create social media content. Yeah. So I, I think that the, the difference really is that like in one scenario you have people's attention. They're there to watch the film. They buy a ticket, they sit down in that seat, or they turn the TV on with the intention of watching a film. Whereas we're get, we're, what we're trying to do is getting people to stop scrolling their thumbs and just watch whatever the fuck it is that we're making. So that's, how, that's why it was important for me to draw that line because we don't have a runway to build a narrative. We have to get into it right away. And in films, yes, often films start with like one of the hard hitting scenes, but there is, there's a buildup of narrative. There's a buildup of story. Whereas I don't think that you have that uh, luxury of time in content. Y'all are probably not even watching this because this is at the end of the YouTube video. <laughs> One question that I'm sure you get a lot. Who inspires you? I'm sure a lot of people- Who or what? Like, Let's go with both. Um, I think that you have to curate your inspiration. I don't think that inspir if you're gonna wait for inspiration to strike, then, then you'll, you'll get hit with it once in a while. But if you curate your inputs, like your life inputs, um, in a way that like it fosters your creativity, you'll be inspired a lot more. I regularly go to museums, I watch movies. My Instagram feed, my, you know, all my social feeds are curated to inspire me. They're not curated to like, I don't know, like show me bullshit. That's why like I, I'm very much about unfollowing people because um, I have to curate my feed. If I see some dumb shit on my feed and I don't wanna see it because I don't want it that inputted into my consciousness then I'm unfollowing like how much time do you spend looking through social feeds I mean not that much I just kind of oh I spend all day yeah. I spend all day on Instagram uh, I mean that's false I, I do spend a lot of time on it however I mainly just watch sports highlights so I don't really go to social media for my like inspiration you know see I mean? so you you've curated your feed to give you something that otherwise would be difficult for you to make time Right? Everyone has their own purpose. I think that you have to curate your feed to, to give you what you need. And for me, it's inspiration. Absolutely. So granted, this is the end of today's vlog and you know, we don't know how many people are watching at this point. However, we're about to hit the hard hitting questions. So first Bring question it. for you, pizza or tacos? Pizza. Is your dream house on the beach, mountain, or uh, in the desert? Mountain. One more, that I forgot you answered that way too quickly. Last question for you, is the toilet paper roll, do you prefer it to be underneath the roll? No, or are you over. grabbing over the roll? Over. Why? It's just easier, I'm lazy. Otherwise I gotta reach back and pull it out. This is just there. Like if you go to a hotel, it's over and it's tucked into a little triangle with a, a sticker on it. I don't know what type of hotels you go to, but every hotel I go to has a little right. sticker on my um, toilet paper roll. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. Take him out of the screen, crop him out. Just on me now, this is my vlog. Um, thank you guys for watching day one of the vlog. Um, this Wait, is can you do that again? Thank you guys for watching day one of the vlog. September 1st is down. Um, we're gonna try and do this every day, so I want you to like and comment with what else do you wanna see. Ask me questions that I can answer in tomorrow's vlog, all right?
Peace.